Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is how to avoid this big relationship issue. Some couples who have been together for a very long time lose the capacity of understanding how to nurture the love within their relationship. This is a really big mistake because we all have a choice of where we can be in our love and romantic partnerships. If we are choosing to be with you, we want everything to go as smoothly as possible and we want to be able to maintain the love between us for many years to come. If you're committing to somebody, it's so important to do everything in your power to make the relationship whole, to make it healthy. But a lot of people become very complacent over the years with their partner. They lose the energy to nurture the love in the relationship. Taking your partner for granted and becoming complacent in your relationship is the first sign of things to come and how it's going to alter the dynamics of how you are as a couple. You're going to be pulling away from each other. You're not going to feel it's great about coming home and seeing each other because there's a disconnect. You're not putting energy in. There's no nurturing going on. You're just living with each other and becoming almost companions. If you're on the same page, you're reciprocating the romance, the love, the fun, the even some of the serious stuff together. But you're, you're, you're on board with each other. You're not on separate places with where things are going. And that's the thing that I find happens with a lot of people is they forget that. As I said earlier, people have a choice. Back in the day with our grandparents, they'd stay together forever. Now, if people aren't happy, they're changing up their lives. They're not spending 25, 30 years together in a relationship that's one-sided. They understand the importance of wanting to be in a reciprocated, loving partnership. So this is even more important today that you are very aware of this. You don't ever let things get to that point where they're disintegrating between you. Energy and a little bit of time every day to show your partner they're important to you is really the best thing you can do and it's not a lot of work. And it shouldn't feel like work because you wanna be there for them. You want to give your partner attention and be communicative with them and have fun together. When you do this on a regular basis and make them the priority, you're not going to have this complacency because you understand that they should be number one, that they are the top and, and it should be vice versa. You should feel the same with them. If it's starting to go in opposite directions, I seriously recommend that you sit down and don't let it go any further than that. Sit down and say, hey, have you noticed this is what's happening between us? because we're heading in opposite directions here and I'm feeling I'm not feeling heard I'm feeling pushed to the side I don't feel like you really want to be with me all the things that a, a woman or a man feel in a relationship that's unbalanced don't let it be that way we all have boundaries and we all have breaking points and it's really important that you remember why you fell in love with each other. What is it about that person that made me want to commit to them? And why am I letting it go in the opposite direction right now? Or why are they letting it go in the opposite direction? Stop what's happening and get in on the problem immediately. If you start to feel that there's complacency coming in and at any time frame in your relationship, Stop the, the situation from happening. Acknowledge it. A lot of people don't acknowledge it and they just keep going and letting things get more and more and more pulled apart between you. That is where a lot of relationships end up falling apart because a couple is not paying attention to the most important part of a relationship, communicating regularly not letting things go in the opposite direction from how they started. Things have changed today. People aren't sticking around for the long term if they don't feel that their partner is on board with how it used to be between them. 
if they feel rejected all the time, they feel that their partner is not attracted to them anymore, their partner doesn't really want to be with them intimately, all these things change. And then what happens is one person checks out, the other one's not even aware it's happening. And then all of a sudden you're sitting here going, oh my God, my relationship is in a very unhealthy place. The people that listen to what is happening in their partnership are the ones that always survive because they're not ignoring it. They're not saying, oh, whatever, it'll, it'll go away, it'll fix itself. It doesn't fix itself. And that's what I want you to be very aware of here. If you or your partner are becoming complacent within your relationship, you need to address it and you need to address it quickly. Not after a couple of years. Pay attention to what is transpiring. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have. Please subscribe and please click like on the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.